Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So, you know what's in the box because of the title of the video. It's a compressor. Um, uh, this video is going to be just an unboxing. So, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to show you what's in the box, how it came. And I'll, give you, I'll leave the links below where I bought this uh, from eBay. So this is how it's came. So it's got reinforced sides on the box. So it's quite heavy. I don't know the weight of it. But I'll probably say it's about... Uh, does it sit on here? Uh, it doesn't say, but it's probably about 30 kilos, something like that, something weird. It's, it's, you can feel the weight of it. So let's get this thing opened and we can see what's in it. Okay, so it's well packaged. I'm really impressed with the packaging because I thought, in fact, on the website it said it might come in unconventional packaging, packaging, whatever that means. Uh, so, cardboard. Yeah, very good. So, the walls. This is interesting. This. I've never actually had a packaging as good as this. These walls are half inch thick. Okay. Instruction booklet. This is the new Warrior. Even though it didn't say that on the it's the same one, but it didn't actually say that. But uh, new warrior instruction one mini compressor 4500 psi 300 bar, some more rings, bass discs, some springs, and such. So we leave that there. Warning in Chinese this is the 240 volt because I'm in the UK, it needs 15 amp to work. So I'll, I'll have a read of that later on. Uh, yeah, obviously oil. I've got no oil, so I'll have to go and look at that. Okay, these look like these are the filters to stop any water or capture water and crap. So that's that. Yeah. Polystyrene sides, which we just stop everything rolling around. So so far, it's looking okay. Some leads. This is the pump, just basically like a fresh tank pump. Uh, it's connected now, so I'm gonna I'll leave that like that. There's my uh, three point plug, which is basically like a kettle plug. Very nice. I'm gonna get the unit out. Uh, quite a weighty unit. Okay, so there's the box if you're interested. Really impressed. Some side handles on there, so it's a proper job. There's the box. Okay. It is it is light, I'll get the dimensions and the the weight later on, but it's every little bugger. Okay. Well, it's got rubber feet, pump, there's the whip for the, the line, it's got a cable tie on it. Like I say, I'll, I'll go through the instructions, I'll go through the instructions and I'll do another video once I've, make sure I've got all, everything in place like the oil, and I should, I'll talk about oil and filling it and everything. Uh, so there's the filter and there's the end with clips on. Uh, is it faster? I don't really know. I might have to change this. I don't really know but that's looking okay. I'll have to check to see if there's one in. Ugh. Probably will be. There's a, blue, a green o-ring for sealing and yes there's one already in there and it's actually got looks like it's been tested because there's actually stuff in there, like a bit of moisture or something. Or not moisture, but maybe some some stuff, some cleaning product or something, whatever the view. But there's definitely some liquid in there. So I'll uh, check that out before and make sure it fits to my things, which I want to fill. So what do I need to fill with this? It's going to be to for air guns uh, and uh, paintball stuff. 
uh, not for, I'm not going to, I no, wouldn't recommend using it for air tanks for breathing, but you you can have, some people have used them with no filters, I wouldn't risk it. So these are the lines, which I'll put, yeah, I'll leave them on. There's a little note, there's a blow off valve, you've got a pressure gauge here, which goes up to, uh, for, uh, it goes green, yellow, red, red lines are 4000 PSI. There's a temperature gauge here, which is turned on at the moment. I don't know how you turn it off. Uh, it's just permanently on. Uh, so I'll have to look at how you turn this off. I think it'll probably go into this block. Uh, so the temperature gauge there, on and off switch there, with a rubber uh, grommet on there so it doesn't get water in it. I'm missing something. Something missing. It might be a there's a, uh, another power outlet for the pump. And it'll probably be in there. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's in there. So there's your pump. And on that pump, uh, just a fish tank pump, you've got that fitting, which fits into the side there. Just pushes into there. That's going to give you, I assume it's 12 volts. 400 litres a minute. 240 volts. So it's a 240 volt motor pump. Uh, and then you've got an Allen key, uh, one of them fins which looks like it's a, I don't know what that one's for to be honest. This is no holes in it, it's, it's solid. Uh, might just be a blank or something for testing it. So you probably put that in there for, uh, probably put that in there to test it out. Let's open it and have a look. So, so you've got one of these like what is it foster foster so that would like there you go locks in like that and then you can test the pressure pressure line so, uh, so that's just like a test one then you've got this plastic there's a ball in there so as the pressure relief valve so I take it you take Unscrew this, if you can see, just try to tip it over a bit. I take, if you take this plug out, fill it up, put that in, and there's a pressure relief valve. You have one Allen key, looks about 4mm. Uh, and that's it really. Uh, double stage, so you've got, a, you've got, a, there's a reset button, and you've got a blow off. Uh, so your valve here, so you close the valve and that'll start putting that under there and you relief it. So you'd start the thing up, I assume. Yeah, you start the thing up with this open so there's no pressure in there to, so you don't stall the, stall the motor. Uh, and then you'd, you'd just tighten that up, finger tight. Uh, and there's your second stage, first stage. This is your water cooling. So your water cooling is going to cool this head down. I've been thinking about this. While that while I was waiting for it, I'm thinking, how can I make this better? So what I might do, I might look into putting uh, like a computer uh, radiator with a fan on, so it's, so it's taking the air away to make that a bit more efficient. I might actually do that. Uh, and if I do, I'll probably do a video on it as well. So yeah, on this side, if I can stand up, there's a, uh, if you can see that, there's where your 240 goes in, you've got your new wire stick and some uh, text on the sides, aluminium, steel, tin, there's a fan at the back, obviously that's just, uh, like a, it's not like a cooling fan, it's, well it lacked like that, but it's just a fan for the, the pump motor. Uh, and your temperature gauge, is it says 22 centigrade at the moment and it probably oh there we are it goes through the block so there's a little hole in the block here just sits in there but i don't know where the on and off is and that's it really so there's nothing much more to say there's a blow off here which i assume, assume you can adjust uh, low pressure high pressure uh, i've never had one of these before but it's just like so yeah so 
I'll go through the instructions guys and then I'll uh, do another video where I'll set it all up and get some air tanks try to gun up and then we'll see how noisy this thing is uh, assume it's going to be noisy but straight away off the bat it looks first class it looks top notch there's no damage to it anywhere I can see everything looks good uh, so as long as it works if it doesn't work obviously it's no good but uh, yeah there's a, there's a oil I need to put some oil in I don't want any actually oil in let me have a look yeah there's oil, there's oil already in so just as a test I can probably use it but I'm going to put some hydraulic oil in I, have, I don't have time don't put motor oil in use proper hydraulic oil uh, and there's a side glass and a drain and a fill pot uh, check it all out probably put it onto something which uh, looks like I'm feet are a little bit off I want something soft so the vibrations this will be quite vibrating and make sure all these are nipped up so right guys what I'll do is uh, I'll go and set it up and then we'll be back shortly with a, uh, another video showing it actually working so back shortly